hello there welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new this is the second episode of the lessons i must learn series and if you have not watched the first episode i highly recommend you do also if you like this type of content consider subscribing to my channel so um for today i have called it titled it whatever as releasing myself from the shackles of timelines and um like no i'm not talking about procrastination <laughs> i'm not saying you just do something whenever you want to and especially if you had given your word you would you know follow through at a certain time i think it's only prudent to do so and also it just honors the word that you made and just honors yourself as well but i'm talking about timelines in regards to i guess you know life milestones and stuff like that and i remember like i've just been thinking about it a lot also because it's the current kind of situation that i find myself in at the moment so it's a very current present situation and you know sometimes okay like i've gotten it in form of even comments from people sometimes and i mean probably they didn't think they were probably putting unnecessary pressure or something of the sort when they were saying it but you know sometimes it's like you know some things don't really need like a cast in stone timeline and for instance you know sometimes i see this um applications for scholarships you know for people who want to let's say do further studies and stuff like that and then i see that they put age like limits so maybe only apply if you graduated let's say within the last two years or if you are like 25 and under and stuff like that and then i'm just like but what if i'm 40 like so if i'm 40 like i'll be locked out and i'm just like it honestly doesn't make sense and i feel like it keeps on this um mentality of urgency that everything is so urgent it needs to be done immediately and i think it also manifests not only in such things like the scholarship applications but i also think in terms of work because you know let's say you're working somewhere it's like everything is always due like it's always urgent it's always and literally sometimes you could actually wait but i don't know why waiting sometimes is seen as such a bad thing and yeah so what i was saying like from people is sometimes you tell someone let's say something let's say they're asking you like your next steps in life and career and stuff like that and for you it's just like you know like you know probably i want to do it next year but someone would be like you know but you should just do it now you know so that you get it done with but i'm just like but what if i do it when i want like why does it have to be now you know some things aren't as urgent as we put them and most of the time i don't even know what causes us to have these set timelines i guess it's pressure from people and i don't know like because of course i haven't experienced it i'd want to imagine like someone still achieving something in their 50s still feels as good as you achieving it in your 20s or 30s so i honestly don't know like where that whole oh my god it's capitalism <laughs> but yeah it's just something that doesn't sit well with me and i think it's very very unnecessary and it's something i'm constantly learning to try and especially you know if you're let's say in a peer group and like most of them seem to be doing things now as opposed to later it just makes you feel like okay maybe i should be doing it but you see i don't want to do it i just feel like i should do it because other people are doing it and i think as a result honestly your quality of life is just lowered it diminishes because you're not even happy because i'm like if there's something i really love doing why would i postpone that for something that maybe other people really think i should be doing and most times I think timelines go hand in hand with also expectations others have of us so in the end you might think okay like i will be doing this by this age and whatever 
but most of the time I don't think we put timelines on things we love so for instance if I want to travel let's say to Jamaica and I tell myself I'll travel to Jamaica I should travel to Jamaica by 2022 it's hardly it's hardly something we put a timeline on or rather personally for me because I'm speaking mainly from my experience so for instance if I don't like for me it's like I want to go to Jamaica I'll go to Jamaica whatever time I will I'll go there and I'll still be very happy even even if it just stays as I thought even if it's going to be that bucket list destination every year like I'm making a resolution and stuff like that but I don't know like for instance if it was like let's say I started uni at a certain year and I'm meant to graduate by 2021 and if I don't graduate by 2021 I feel so much worse and I don't know why probably that's also something I should like you know look, look into and see like why my man mindset is like set like that but I mean bottom line is <laughs> I really need to release myself from the shackles of timelines I feel like it's something I I could easily say to someone and be like, you know, by the way, um, I don't even have a hurry like to do this and stuff like that. I'm not in a rush, rather. So, but like deep down, if I really, really, you know, get honest with myself, I still feel like I have those feelings of like, oh my goodness, am I missing out? Oh my goodness. Should I be doing this? Oh my goodness. You know, when you tell someone that you're just at home, probably doing nothing or whatever, you know, whatever is not, okay, like nothing in most cases, I think equals to maybe you not having a job. So, but I mean, you could potentially be doing other things that make you happy, but you'll tell someone, oh, just nothing, but you're not doing nothing. So it's just like, is all the, like are all these other things also valueless and it's just that thing of I don't know maybe we should also normalize it sometimes and especially if you're privileged to I don't think there's anything wrong with you having a period in your life where you're just doing things you love like for me honestly one of my greatest desires is to like have one year where I do nothing but travel because travel is something I really really love doing I don't even think experiences I could ever explain how much I value traveling and what it does for me like I cannot even put it in words like ever and for me if I could just have one year and just travel like destination after destination and like travel the world I would honestly be so so happy and I don't know, like, I don't know if I would also be happy, like, fully happy, which is also quite sad, because I'm like, I know I'll be very, very happy, but will I also think, oh my goodness, what if this year was the year I could have gotten into this institution? Like, it's just, it's capitalism again. But, yeah, that's just something I've been thinking about and i wanted to share with you guys i don't know what you think about timelines you know are there things in your life you've done just because you thought maybe time is running out for you time is not on your side or that you needed to do something you know like at a certain age and if you don't it almost feels like you know it's become insignificant like it doesn't even like there's no value in it anymore so yeah just tell me let me know in the comments if you relate with that, if that's a struggle you have. For me, it's something I am, in, you know, as I said, like I'm really trying to actively work through. But, you know, I don't think I'm at that point. I can entirely be very honest with myself and be like, I'm not phased and stuff like that. I mean, I'm, I'm still moved. Like when I hear, oh my goodness, someone has done something by this age. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> like oh i remember some time back i had seen you know someone i started with in uni and i think like on linkedin oh my god linkedin for pressure anyway yeah so i saw like on linkedin you know she she's also an llm candidate i'm just like wow 
so she's done with uni she also did castle she's an llm candidate i'm like wow but i don't know you know it's a thing of maybe also someone else looking at me could also be like oh my goodness she's done this and that and it's just unnecessary pressure all around but i think also very heavily self-imposed but anyway let me know what you think and as i close this video i'd like to respond to a question i was asked on my instagram so my, someone asked me uh so who is ventura and what are some of her life passions <laughs> oh i think you know who is ventura it just this question gives me some sort of ptsd you know when you go for interviews but anyway i don't know who i'd say ventura is because i feel like ventura is someone who just changes and ventura is different in different seasons in her life so currently ventura in this season is just someone trying to really find quality in her life and just trying to find things that work for her and things that make her happy and you know trying to also be bold enough to stand by such things like regardless of anything and my passions i think one of my greatest passion is travel like if my bank account could just be a hundred percent come correct i would just be very very happy um travel is a great great passion of mine writing as well for me writing is like my most treasured form of expression and sometimes i get like very very raw with emotions and like i express myself through writing i do have a blog but i don't usually post everything i write on that blog post because sometimes i'm just like i don't know if i'm ready to be this raw with some with other people like with people who don't know me and also with people who know me because sometimes it's just like you have layers in you and sometimes those layers are so painful to peel off and you just imagine like you're sharing this with someone else and i don't know you just i'm not sure how you'll be perceived and it's like you know when you peel like layers of your skin off of course it's painful so you don't know if someone is going to sprinkle salt there or if someone is just going to you know put an ice pack on you or something so it's very for me it's like almost sacred yeah so i really really am passionate about expressing myself through writing um i think like in future potentially i i really i like children i wouldn't say i love children like enough to like have my own or whatever but i i would want to be in a position where i could make the lives of children who are disadvantaged better and if that looks like supporting an organization a children's home potentially adopting but you know maybe when they are older like maybe around seven years and stuff like that that's also something i'm deeply deeply i feel very strongly about yeah so i think that's what i'd want to share but just to mention i like the way this question was worded just because it allows me to respond with what i want and who i am at the moment because sometimes i don't like questions that only focus on me identifying myself maybe with just my career or anything of the sort i mean i am more than that i am so many things like i'm a friend you know like I'm a consumer of content like I am just so many things so so many things that it's unfair to be tied down to just one you know career oriented type of I don't know framework whatever anyway um I'll end this video here definitely a series I'm enjoying doing I just feel like I'm just you know talking to my friends here and stuff like that and you can share your own experiences and all so um for the next video i'll be talking about change and learning that you know when someone tells you like you have changed it's not offensive it's not an insult yeah so that will be episode three of the lessons i must learn series if you like this video you know like it <laughs> wow um subscribe to my channel if you haven't if you think it will be helpful to someone else or someone else relates or whatever just 
you can share this video with them and i'm looking forward to catching you guys in the next one bye bye